hi everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to be doing this makeup look which i love and yeah i hope that you guys like this makeup look also i hope that you like these consistent uploads i really want to expand my channel and bring more tags and i don't know hacks and all of that stuff so please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my content and want to see more let me know down in the comment below what you would like to see so yeah sorry for this long intro and if you would like to see how i got this makeup look please keep watching and we will get right into the video all right so i went ahead and did my eyebrows i also did the base for the eyes and yeah so now we're going to move on to prepping the face so what i'm going to do is prime the first product i'm going to use is the hourglass number 28 primer i love this primer it's amazing uh, especially for dry skin now it does have a little bit of a strong smell but it does go away right now i do want more of a luminous face today something more summery because well summer is almost over pretty much so i'm going to start off with mac this is the mac strobe cream it's called gold light and for foundation today i'm sticking to one of my favorite brands which is makeup forever so we're going hd and one of my other favorites which is the makeup forever matte velvet skin so yeah i'm going to mix the velvet matte velvet with the hd so for the matte hd i'm going to apply it to the areas mainly where I tend to get oily so not luminous but oil and for me that is pretty much the t-zone and when you want to do a luminous face um, in my opinion I don't like looking dewy where I get oily because it just turns into a really big oily mess all right so now i'm taking the strobe cream and i'm just going to apply it just areas where i want to look luminous and first i'm going to take the hd foundation now let's begin to slowly blend Okay, so now that I have my foundation on, I'm going to move on to concealer. And for that, I'm going to be using the KKW Concealer in number 4. So I'm just going to apply in the inner corners and then right there. And I'm just going to take the foundation brush. It's a pretty lightweight concealer and I just need it for that extra bit of brightness. So now I'm going to take my, my Wet n Wild uh, Beauty Sponge and I'm going to set the under eye area. I'll show you guys right now what I'm talking about. Now I also like to apply a little extra on the nose area and between the eyebrows and i'm not going to disturb any of the areas where i applied that um strobe cream so this is the powder i applied 
It is by RCMA. It is the original no color powder. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit on my face for about three to five minutes and I will be ready. All right, so now I am going to dust away the powder with this gorgeous uh, brush by Moda Cosmetics. And I'm just going to pretty much dust away and whatever you know I pick up on the brush I'm going to blend it downwards just to set my face so now I'm going to take my chocolate soleil bronzer in medium deep and I'm going to bronze up the skin and this brush I've had for years and years i remember these were super expensive but they were all the hype back then this and the nars Eta brush something like that i believe they're both from nars While I'm here doing my makeup, I remembered, I wanted to tell you guys, I want to tell you guys like little stories as I film, you know? So, uh, I had this really bad haircut experience here. Uh, this hair stylist cut my hair. I just went for a trim pretty much. I remember I told my dad to take me and I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll take you, you know, because, I mean, I don't really know my way around, so, so I asked him to take me, he took me, and I told the guy, uh, can you just cut my ends, my hair was extremely healthy, it was a blondish color, but you know, to get blonde hair to be healthy is like, well, it's a challenge. And I got it to be really healthy and just really silky and shiny and everything. And I was like, well, tell me how much do you want off? And I was like, you know, like an inch and a half, that's it. My hair was super long. It was below my bottom like the end of my bottom and he was like okay so started cutting and then I felt like he did something like boom like cut a chunk off and I was like what is going on and I don't know if he did it on purpose or by accident but my hair ended up looking like Dora the Explorer and I do not like short hair on me. I think it looks amazing on a lot of people, but not on me. I was like in shock. I didn't even know what to say. He was like, it's summer. You should embrace the short hair. Aren't you tired of long hair? But seriously, man, like you do not know how long it takes for hair to grow back like what are you thinking you know so long story short my hair growth journey and repair has been a challenge a really big challenge and i will show you like pictures i will insert some pictures of my hair what it looked like at the beginning, what it looked like a couple months after. And you know, what it looks like now. So you guys can get an idea. So this was last July and now is 
the end of August. So you guys can get an idea. So moving on. So now I'm taking some of my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush uh, airbrush finish skin perfecting micro powder in number two I filmed that one video that's been going around where it's uh, the makeup I would have if I was if I wasn't a youtuber so I filmed that tag and I want to film other ones as well so definitely want to film some TikTok beauty hacks as well. I'm going to try this, I guess you could call it a hack, but it's inspired by another YouTuber. Like one of the queens of hauls here on YouTube. Uh, her, name, her name is Rosita Applebum. I will link her channel down below. She uses uninterrupted eyeshadow by MAC to contour. Now I do have uninterrupted and I also have the Bobbi Brown one that's called Camel. So I'm going to see if this actually gives you some type of like good contour because it looks really good on her and I want to see how it looks on me. And for that I'm taking the NARS Eta brush, Eta or Eta, Eta. Okay, I think it'll look good. Okay, so to the under eye area, I'm going to apply a little bit of this brightening powder in number one, which is. A yellowish tint or no it's like a neutral but this is by KKW I'm going to apply just the tiniest bit just to keep that area bright I'm really excited because uh, I convinced my boyfriend to do a voiceover so you know that video where your boyfriend or your fiance or your husband does uh, your voiceover. I think it's going to be hilarious. Uh, now he will. Now he will film it in Spanish. So I'm going to be applying Warm Soul by Mac just to keep that glow going. As you can see, I still have that glow. So yeah, I just I can just imagine him trying to describe things. Um, he thinks he knows what I do, but not really. And he's just so funny. I love his sense of humor. He makes me laugh nonstop all day long. And I just, I love that about him. He's so uplifting. He makes me smile all the time. He tells me I'm beautiful. He does so many things for me that I'm not used to, you know, in a relationship. And I'm just like, are you for real? Well, how pretty is Warm Soul? Like, seriously, so many brands and blushes have came out. But when you love something, you love it no matter how many brands come out with different shades of peach. So I want to move on to the eyes. So I did this look a while back ago and I didn't film it of course because I wasn't filming on YouTube yet. I used the KKW Beauty eyeshadow palette. Say like what specific palette it is. The other one I have is the Mario one, and this one is just different color packaging and KKW Beauty. And I fell in love with the way it looked, so I thought, let me try to 
recreate that. It's like the simplest eye look, but it is something that's very like trendy on Instagram. So first I'm going to take this uh, like skin tone shade and I'm going to apply that to the brow bone. I seriously need to pluck those hairs. So I'm going to start off with this shade right here and then I will move on to this one. So I'm going to just apply it all over the crease area. I love how these eyeshadows are super smooth. it pretty far up as you can see so there's the first color so now I'm applying this color right there I'm actually going to mix it with the brown right next to it so I, I think that's what I did apply Soft, blown out, nude, smokiness. The previous shade, and I'm grabbing some more and using the fluffier brush and just re blending it and taking it up pretty high. Now we're switching back to the smaller blending brush. I'm going to reapply that again. Alright, so now that I I think I blended to my liking, I'm blending right here, like on this part of uh, underneath the brow. I'm blending it upwards and then like I said I'm blending it outwards. So I'm going to as you can see take it pretty far out. Okay so now that I feel like my eyeshadow is blended for the most part I'm going to actually move on to the lips. I think Instead of doing what I did in the picture, which was a mauve shade, I believe it was a Sephora matte lip cream. I'm going to go bold since it's summer. Aligning my lips with Candy Yum Yum by MAC Lip Liner. Okay. So now that my lips are lined, I'm going to go find a lip. Okay, so I decided to go full on YouTube old school and apply Candy Yum Yum by MAC. I always have this in my collection for some reason. So for the inner corner of the eye, I'm going to apply something that broke on me not very long ago. And this is Nylon Eyeshadow by MAC. My all-time favorite. Seriously, like, this is my favorite inner corner highlighting color. And I always, always have uh, one that's personal use and one that's freelance use so let's begin and intense is that just fade it a little bit 
So I'm going to take this shade and then this one. And those are and those are gonna go on the bottom lash line. Okay, so now I am going to take uh, show you guys the lashes I will be applying. Okay, so for my lashes, I'm applying these Huda Beauty eyelashes. I don't know the style because I took everything off and ones I was wearing in that post on Instagram. They look like this. I love how separated they are. So I'm going to apply uh, my lashes off camera because I want to do like a eyelash tutorial. So I will do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my lashes on, and I actually found the style. It is called Noel number 14. So I am also going to be applying. I'm going to be applying this MAC Chromographic Pencil in NC15 to my waterline. And it is going to make my eyes really huge. And just I love doing this trick and it makes you look a lot more awake all right so I'm not going to apply highlighter I really like the way it looks with just the blush uh, glowing so I'm going to leave it like that for the final um, makeup look I really like uh, wearing my makeup like this, just an all matte, like warmish, light uh, brown shade in the crease and on the lid, really blown out. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments section what you would like to see next yeah thank you guys so much for your love and support as you have probably noticed by now i am also uploading in spanish so i upload english and spanish english and spanish so it just depends on the content that i have thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye